It's an oft-repeated story at this point. The Cambridges are moving to Windsor this summer, ahead of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and, for the first time, Prince Louis starting school in September. Reasons behind the move from London's Kensington Palace to Windsor? It will put them in closer geographic proximity to the Queen, whose primary residence is now Windsor Castle, as well as Michael and Carol Middleton, who live about 45 minutes away in Buckleberry in Berkshire. Plus, it will provide the Cambridge kids room to play, as Prince William and Kate Middleton continually strive for normalcy, at least as much as possible, for their three children. According to Hello, George in particular is excited about the move, to be closer to family, sure, but also because, the move to the Windsor estate from their home at Kensington Palace will give Prince George and his siblings more freedom to enjoy their favorite outdoor pastimes, which include swimming, football, and tennis, the outlet reports. The family is set to move into the four-bedroom Adelaide Cottage, which will provide the Cambridge children with infinite space to play outdoors and explore the surrounding gardens, hello, reports. Windsor Great Park is close by, which the outlet calls the perfect spot for long walks and cycling. There are also ample opportunities for dog walking, high orla, and horse riding, basically an outdoor lover's paradise, which we know George and, really, his whole family really enjoy outdoor pursuits. We don't blame George, and probably his siblings, too, for the gift of space to roam and play and explore and just be a kid. Kate Middleton's uncle has said that she and Prince William are going to have their hands full this summer, as the couple prepare to make a series of life changes. The Duke and Duchess are reportedly ready to take on the next chapter with their three children, George, Charlotte and Louis. Ahead of a new school term in September, Kate and William are said to be moving their family away from their apartment in Kensington Palace to the grounds of Windsor Castle. As second in line for the throne, Prince William is looking to be nearer his grandmother the Queen as she continues to strip back on her workload, the Mirror reports. The Duke and Duchess will be setting up in the four-bedroom Adelaide Cottage which sits on the Windsor Estate. This change will mean a new home and a new school for the three children. For Kate, it will mean closer proximity to her family and where she grew up in Berkshire. Gary Goldsmith, the younger brother of Kate's mum Carol Middleton, has given an update on the Cambridge's proposed move from their London base. He says his niece is facing a busy time but that she is more than capable of handling the change. He told The Sun, William and Kate are going to have their hands full this summer as they move home to be nearer the Queen and settle the kids into a new school. But I think they are ready for the next chapter in their lives, he added. Kate has been brilliant in so many ways, as a wife, a mum, a counsel, a partner, an ambassador, a figurehead and a future Queen. She never lets anyone down. She shines in every situation, on every stage, and behaves with class.
she is already the one we all watch first as a role model. We are all, as a nation, super proud of her. The royal family is in safe, beautiful and heaven-sent hands. She has got this in both the good times and the bad times. As their current home is also a tourist attraction that pulls in many royal fans with its exhibitions and gardens, this move will also reportedly give the Duchess more freedom. According to royal expert and author Ingrid Seward, Kate is unable to do simple things like walk in the park as the only private place to go in Kensington Palace as the field where the helicopters land. In an interview with True Royalty TV she said, I think what William and Catherine will have for their children is the freedom they didn't have at Kensington Palace. I remember Harry saying to a friend of mine that Catherine was almost a prisoner at Kensington Palace, and I thought don't be ridiculous, it's the most gorgeous place to live in London. Then I thought, in a way they are prisoners, they have a beautiful house and garden but beyond that garden are hundreds of people every day and massive security. Catherine can't walk in the park like Diana used to, as times have changed. 